Hello and welcome to a game, <laughs> game known as Creature Collab, or at least it shows up as a game on Lucas Pachan's Newgrounds page. Um, of course it's not actually, it's a Creature Collab, but I'm going to play it anyway, or <laughs> at least look at it, because I've made it my goal to play every game that Lucas Pachan Michaels has ever made, so let's do this, play. Creature Collab, Post Apocalypse, Authors, blah blah blah, Kajanks and some other people. He's the one that organized it, I would imagine. Make a selection from the list below. So there's going to be a lot of reading here, so just keep in mind there's not going to be any, any action here. You know, you can probably tell from the name, you know, Creature Collab. When the Brocken first appeared on the outskirts of Phoenix, Arizona where a rather large settlement of humans still remained. People thought it was peaceful. However, when torrential rain struck the area, the creature went mad and rampaged through the already decimated city, killing hundreds. From that time onward, the survivors, having nowhere else to go, moved down into the sewers to deal with less... With less what? With... with no! We'll never know now! Are you... What? Really? Really? This? Let me know. What, what does it say after that? Uh, are you kidding me? Really? Is my resolution bad or something? Come on. There's nothing wrong with my resolution. Come on. Pressing the S key, the down key. What key do I have to press? Space bar. What? Alright, well, I guess that's all we're going to get about the Brocken. No, no, we don't even know how it's pronounced. Brock, that's the best I knew. Kajinks, also known as Lucas Paha Michaels. Alright, let's move on to the jungle shell by the psycho sheep. Seen only in South America, the jungle shell is a rare creature indeed. Many insist that it existed long before the apocalypse because of its similarity to many tribal demons and gods. It's known to feed mostly on parrots and other tropical birds, but there have been reports of attacks on... Really? Really? Is it... Ah, right, that's no... That's not due to a lack of a scroll button. That is due to a lack of writing. Somebody didn't write the rest of that in, or if they did, they forgot to put it in this game. If you can call it a game, it's really more of an interactive slideshow of... Um... Is that an insect? Six legs. I get. Yeah, it's an insect. All right. A jungle shell. A blatted deer. Don't even want to think about what that is. I hate arthropods. Master Exploder One. The blatted deer was discovered in the well vegetated area just outside of South Australia. It mainly lives on plants and small animals, but has been known to eat a human if provoked. Most of the humans in the area know to keep their distance. The bladder deer gets its name from the Latin word for cockroach bladder. So it's like some kind of huge, horribly mutated, overgrown cockroach of epic proportions. Is that right, huh? Meh, that is disgusting. Sprockly Fish by Lucas Pacher Michaels. Native to the Mediterranean, the sprockly fish lives mainly on human meat. After appearing in Italy, France, and Spain, the Mediterranean has been mostly evacuated. However, a small groups of human remains, and as long as there's food, so does the blank, blank, blank. Dark Bat. The Cyclops Bat. Is that... I guess it's just one big eye, huh? And where are these? Legs? Antennas? By the Almighty Lemon. A creature said to be spawned from fear, the Dark Bat specializes in hunting. When it senses movement nearby, it lets out a piercing screech that immobilizes the prey, and then... Guruk. Wow. Uh, that's its tail, right? 
right? And by elemental soldier. Garuk travel in nomadic tribes. Each tribe has a unique red mark somewhere on their bodies, and depending on the tribe's location, they have adapted to wear clothing. Yes, you could use some of that, I think. The tribes work in an organized manner, with each tribe member having a specific job. Garuk are well built, very fast, and can grow well over 20 feet tall, though the average is 8 feet. Known to enjoy killing humans, they are excellent hunters and have been spotted using tools such as pipes and chains. And whatever that and that is. Right. Watty. What it? Oh my gosh. Ah, oh, disgusting. Green infected multi symbiotic creature of doom bringing. No limbs, of, no arms. Gosh. I skipped. As menacing as this creature may seem, it's actually quite docile. It just happens to have red around it, its mouths for some reason, and, and, and make angry expressions. It, and the pus from its warts is known to have healing qualities. It resides in Africa, and the best translation of its name is comical. There should be a period there, right? Or is there more here? More in the nothingness. What are these buttons? Is is there something here I'm missing? Alright, I guess not. Okay. Vlad. By control, alt, f4, delete. What does that do? It's probably... Oh, no, on my computer, it's probably a command because I got a Mac. And the alt, of course, would be an option key. And the f4 would have to press function because otherwise f4 does some weird thing that would make the recording probably explode or something weird. And delete, of course. No, that could probably delete the video, so I'm not pressing any of those buttons. Reaching up to 14 inches in length, these giant hornets were first found in Russia, where they would hunt survivors in packs. Named after the famous Turkish prince, these mutants impaled their victims with their spike and immobilized them with their venom. The victim will remain in paralysis for 14 days, at which the hornets he will eat at pleasure. At leisure, I mean. At, at, at leisure. Same difference, really. Just, this is better grammar. They have a natural lifespan of around four weeks, and are actually blind. Their hairs under their chin are used as antenna that help them to feel around their surroundings, I, I would imagine. Just, just, just guessing here. It's got tusks and teeth. That's huge, and its spike is covered in blood from a recent kill. That's nice. It's really, really just a friendly hornet of doom, death. Hold on. 14 inches in length, and yet, and, and which means that this couldn't be more than an inch long. So how is that exactly impaling? I always thought that to impale something, you needed to actually make it go all the way through whatever's being impaled. Right? That's just, I mean, that's what you usually see, you know, like dragon's teeth, like a geth, the geth thing. I, I just, I thought that's what that was. Vlad the Impaler. That's what they're talking about, in case you don't get it. Turkish prince. I thought he was actually Russian. Uh, am I thinking of Vlad the... The... Who am I thinking of? Thinking of that guy who was... Ivan the Terrible. Okay, Vlad is a Turkish prince. That's correct. Whoops, whoops. We have to get to Giant B. Did I say who this is by? Ah, oh, yes, we did. Giant B. It looks more like a flying praying mantis. It does a more killing than praying, actually. Spammerai. Very little is known about this creature, and its origins remain a mystery. Very few have spotted it and lived to tell. One lucky survivor sketched this picture after. 
just you just have to guess what exactly the how that story ended. Post in the comments, by the way, if you have any great endings for these. Moby, my control alt F for delete. I mean, Dell, it's not delete. And really, that's control, and that's alt. I mean, that is alt. It's the only one it is. Weighing up to 60 tons and achieving a height of up to 65 feet and 20 meters for you, those of you who prefer the metric system. Even though I'm pretty sure that's not a perfect conversion. These involve sperm whales. Just, just that they're called. They're, they're sperm whales. It's, it's nothing weird about the sperm. It's just a, it's a type of whale, you see. It's not, there's nothing. It's not weird. I mean, this is weird. A whale that looks more like an elephant with way too big teeth and mouth. You can open it and you know that happens to have a nuclear missile sticking out of its head. I mean, that's weird, all right? But a sperm whale that is totally natural, totally exists, mutated to bipedalism through various nuclear fallouts, now stand on two stumps. These docile giants now pose a threat to those who wish to harm them and generally prefer to feed on marine life. While standing, weird. However, it has been said that when food stocks run low, humans can become the next meals of these monstrosities. That's just my continuation of that. Using my imagination is what Ted might say. Draxis by Avo17. Information on the Draxis is shaky at best, but a comic book artist in California, yay! Known as Avo17, detailed this sketch as it raged past the now decimated Golden Gate Bridge. Interestingly, this creature has been spotted as far east as Egypt and Japan, as well as northern Russia. I, I guess. It's pretty far north. Maybe Canada? Greenland, perhaps? Those are very, very far north. And that, that does look like a terrifying beast. Just random horns sticking up out of just random places. And now for the last one. By the almighty lemon. Slasher. Renowned for its brutality. The slasher devours everything in its path. Using its long, razor-sharp hands, it can cut through flesh, bone, and even solid metal in just a few seconds. Luckily, the slasher is rarely seen and was last spotted in a deeper part of the rainforests of Brazil. Yeah, because its, it's mighty hands can... Slash through those rainforests like nothing. Just like a knife through butter. It's very in, very hot butter. Also, not only is the knife hot, but the butter is already half melted, so it's just, just clean slice. Wow. Okay, well, there we have it. Thanks for watching this uh, creature collab. Hope you've had some fun. Uh, listening to me reading these out to you, these uh, descriptions of these drawings in a apocalyptic environment. That's um really all this is about, you know. There's nothing else. There's no gameplay to this at all. I mean, I had fun. I had a lot of fun. Way more fun than I should have reading this in this game. It's way more fun I should have. But I had that fun nonetheless. Hope you have too. Or at least had some funny moments. You know, some moments you laughed at. Thanks in any case for making this far in the video. And now I say goodbye. Goodbye.